All right. Well, this may not look that exciting, um, but it is. Uh, we, let's pretend that, you know, because this happens in industry, that a PLC got wiped and had to, we had to place a new one, and the person that originally programmed it left, so we need to reprogram it. So I got a student here who actually did this on this on the setup, and he went a little above and beyond. He actually added a sensor here, um, and it's all linked to a PLC another PLC trainer over here, um, sending information. So if I want, so here's the status screen. I can I can I can jog um, if I so if I hit reset. Oh, there's no parts in here. That's part part of the issue. So. Let's get this set up. And so now if I want to, so I can control this all from there, I can reset. And if I hit start, you can see it's monitoring the status and it's running. And once it goes past that sensor, it's counting. Now it's counting a little bit wrong, but it's counting, it's doing negative parts for the day rather than positive parts for the day. Um, so if I want to hit it again, looks like it's still running. But so it's all automatic, and when it hits a when it hits a part, it's turning a light on over here because it's sending information across the across the way to the plant. It's also if what you may not notice is also controlling this controlling this VFD as well. So it pretends like this VFD is actually starting a conveyor belt. So pretty good. Student did a good job. So.